Hey, I was watching that amazing documentary on how Rob Zombie destroyed the Halloween franchise. And, you know, of course Rob Rob Zombie's a Capricorn. And he has the kite like me, so he's really lazy sometimes. But he, he also only has three oppositions where I have so many semi-squares and oppositions and regular squares. So that actually gives me challenges. But Rob Zombie is fucking lazy. He, his astrological chart is a perfect description of that. Just the kite is like too much energy flowing and no like um, challenges required in his personality. So he doesn't take challenges. Anyway, I just hate him. And this is an amazing documentary. And of course, John Carpenter is also a Capricorn. So I can't hate on Capricorns because back then, you know, we needed that kind of, you know, special effects, ooh, in your face. But nowadays, we're learning to keep our composure. And Capricorns just try way too hard. Like, Lady Gaga's Mars in Capricorn pisses me off, you know. Like, Wes Borland from Limp Biscuit, Like, everything's in Capricorn. He just looks weird, but he's not, you know, talented per se. Um, but yeah. So I was, I was wondering why the fuck would Harvey Weinstein you know, want to get money with Rob Zombie, because that whole movie's about how they just wanted to make money despite any artistic, uh, you know, value. Uh, anyway, so I was like, well, I know he's not a Capricorn, so I looked him up, and he's a Pisces dragon, but he's not just that. Harvey Weinstein, Weinstein, who paid for zombie shit, I guess that his moon was in Capricorn, okay? Like, I knew for sure something was in Capricorn, and his moon's in Capricorn, so... Money, 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 materialistic, really kind of, you know, you know, blended well with zombie. I just really think y'all should watch it. Um, on to better news. I'm thinking that, you know, if the uh, uh, astrology, if the Chinese archetypes, excuse me, are at all correct, then that must mean that each planet kind of goes through a 12 frequency um, you know, harmonic series, and, like, if all the planets correspond to Mayan mathematics, and every planet co corresponds to the fractal of 260, you know, 26, then, uh, <laughs> then life form on other planets must have to also correspond to this mathematical formula, and since the Sulcan 260 corresponds to the DNA double hel helix spiral, it makes sense that the planets would help the formation of life on a specific planet, you know, so to speak, or all circular objects maybe perhaps pertain to 26 and we don't know it yet, but the fact that each planet corresponds is very insane, and I'm wondering if, you know, Chinese astrology is correct, because, you know, the I Ching, the lunar calendar corresponds to all that stuff as well, that if, if there's 12 essential animals for every life force, for every life um, inhabiting planet, like, like, think about it, if, you know, if there's like a universally a lizard and a rat and a dog and a pig and a horse on every planet, you know, just kind of different forms, but that's that same universal archetype. Um, I find it very interesting to think about. Uh, and it gives me hope that there is other life forms. Um, go Avatar.